What's going on everyone? My name's Lauren and welcome to Scales Exotics. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. Like I said earlier, my name's Lauren. I am a uh, new ball python breeder. This channel is hopefully the first of many videos uh, that's going to document our journey. And I say our, meaning me and my fiance because he's also part of this. Um, documenting our journey uh, through breeding and producing animals in this hobby. Uh, we're mainly a ball python channel, um, but uh, my fiance is also very interested in hognose snakes, so he has a few of those that he plans to breed and start working on in the future. Um, I particular, I mainly own ball pythons, but I do have a few other reptiles as well. Um, I breed my own rodents, uh, which has been a lifesaver, especially during the pand pandemic. Um, but anyway, so I guess a little bit about me. Uh, I got into this hobby about four years ago when I started watching Brian Barchick's videos. Uh, I never knew how big this hobby was. Uh, I knew that I always wanted to work with animals, uh, just never really got the chance to. Um, and seeing all these different morphs and the genetics, uh, I became fascinated. I loved every little bit about it. I, I loved the animals. I, I don't know, just the whole process fascinated me. Um, I continued to watch Brian's videos and I got very interested in all the different morphs and what completely sold me though was when I first saw um, pictures of a blue-eyed leucistic and a panda pied and that's what sold me completely. I knew I had to get into this hobby. I knew I wanted to breed these animals I and uh, I just continued to research um, for mainly the f better part of the first year. I got my first two snakes at an expo uh, back in the end of 2017 um, and have been going ever since. <laughs> anyway, you're not here to listen to me babble, you're here to see the snakes. <laughs> so I figured for this first video we would go into uh, what all I have in my collection, introduce you to everybody. So anyway, enough about me, let's get to the snakes. All right guys, so this first snake was my first ball python ever. She wants to show her head. This is my super Mojave female. Her name is Safira. She's a little bit on the twitchy side. She always has been, not really sure why. Um, but as you can see, she's a very beautiful example of the morph. Whoop, come here baby. Uh, she's got that beautiful purple blushing on her head and she's what's considered to be a blue-eyed leucistic. If you can see, she's got a little bit of cocoa husk on her face. <laughs> she's got bright blue eyes. I don't know how well I'll be able to get to, to see these because she's a little jumpy. There. There we go. But she's a beautiful female. I got her at 150 grams. Whoop, there she goes. She says, I'm out of here, Mom. Wah. She's a beautiful female. I got her at 150 grams as a baby. And she is pushing 2,500 grams now. Uh, I tried to breed her last year, but she wanted no part of it apparently. She reabsorbed her follicles. So this year we are going to attempt to pair her to um, my Cinnamon Pastel uh, Super Lesser Male to hopefully get a nice clutch of blue-eyed leucistics because I just want, I want a bell that is not a super. So anyway, this is Safira. Super Mojave. Alright, the next snake in my collection is a, this is my uh, Cinnamon Pastel Super Lesser Male. So this is the guy that this season I'm breeding to uh, Safira, my Super Mojave. He is also a blue-eyed leucistic, but his eyes are a little different because of the cinnamon influence. They're more of like a smoky gray color. He's a very laid back male. I can pretty much do anything with this guy and he doesn't care. He is not head shy at all. He loves to explore. He comes out all the time. He's not, he's not bashful one bit. 
Uh, so this was the second snake I had purchased that day. I bought him and I had bought Saphira on the same day. So these guys were my first two ball pythons. So hopefully things will come full circle this, this uh, season and we'll see some beautiful blue-eyed leucistic babies from these guys. So this is Viziri, the Cinnamon Pastel Super Lesser. All right, so next on the list here, this is Oberyn. He is my bumblebee male. He was my first purchase off of Morph Market. And I'm not sure what's going on with him. He's been off food for a couple of months. I think he wants ladies. Um, so I'm hope I'm gonna attempt to give him a live ASF this weekend and hopefully he will snap out of it <laughs> and get back on food here for me. I don't have any specific breeding plans for him at the moment, but in a couple of years, I do plan to put him with one of my other females to get some uh, pets and uh, well, I'll just, I guess I'll just tell you, my uh, exanthic female. So I'm hoping to someday to make some zebra bees. And I don't know if you can tell, he does have a little bit of a bump on his nose. That's because he likes to push to get out, and I'm pretty sure that's because he wants girls. But he's overall healthy. He's perfectly fine. We're hopefully going to get him back on food this weekend. Um, so this is Oberyn, the bumblebee male. All right, so this next girl, this is Tamari. She is my GHI Mojave female. She, I got her from uh, Chun over at Dynasty Reptiles when she was only 60 grams. <laughs> she was teeny tiny. This is actually gonna be her first breeding season. She just hit 1500 grams and I'm gonna start pairing her. Um, she's just about to come out of shed, so I'm not gonna mess with her too much here, but as you can see, she's she's a beautiful version of a GHI Mojave. I love how muddy her dorsal patterning is here. And she apparently doesn't want to show her face. She's being shy. But I, I and just, you can very see the very faint patterns here on her sides. She's an absolute beautiful girl. Well, there she is. But anyway, this is Tamari, the GHI Mojave. Next up, we have Artemis. This is my Super Pastel TSK Exanthic female. And she has become one of the favorites in my collection. When I first got her, she actually was solid black and white. Um, but as she has aged, she's, within actually a couple of sheds, she went from solid black and white to this beautiful slate gray with this beautiful white pixelation on her side. Let me see if I can get a close up of that for you. There she is. But as you can see, she's just a beautiful example of this gene. She is not brown at all. All of this is slate gray. I don't know how well the camera's picking this up, but she, I'm looking forward to pairing her this season. She is right at 1500 grams. So hopefully we will be pairing her up this season with my banana clown male and getting some double hats. So this is Artemis the Super Pastel TSK Exanthic. Alright, so the next snake in my collection that I had received was this GHI Mojave male. Um, I purchased him off a guy uh, on Facebook, his name is Eric Lee. He's got a really nice line of GHI that stays really, really, really dark and has this beautiful side patterning. Um, he looks a little muddier than he usually does. I mean, he's beautiful right now, but he is also in shed and he is not happy about it. So I won't mess with him too much, but he is a beautiful little guy and he's gonna be paired up with uh, Tamari this season and I'm hoping to make some super GHIs out of this, out of these two. Um, so this is Neji, the GHI Mojave. All right, the next snake that I had received, this is Kuruma. He is a banana clown. And he is honestly the biggest male in my collection. He is over 1600 grams. He is a big boy. He loves his food. And he's getting paired actually to two females, I believe. Let me double check here. Yeah, he's getting paired to two females this season. So we're hoping to make some clowns with him, some banana clowns with him, and some nice double hets as well. 
He is a beautiful male. He loves his food, and I love how he's retained all of these purples in his spots. And he does not want to be here. He does not like the light. So we'll get him back in his house. But this is Kurdama. He is a banana clown. All right, so these next two snakes I had bought from Garrick de Meyer. So this girl is a black pesto pied. Um, I'm hoping to get her up to size by the end of the season. She's kind of stalled out a little bit for me, but I finally got her off of her 1,000 gram wall a little bit ago, and she's finally starting to put some weight back on again. She took two uh, small ASFs for me this past week and seems to be back on track. I'm very looking forward to putting her into the rotation this season, hopefully. Um, hoping to make some uh, more black pastel pides, some maybe some panda pides out of her. Um, so anyway, this is Shion, the black pastel pied. All right, this guy is Roxas. He is also a black pastel pied. He also came from Garrick de Meyer at Royal Constrictor Designs. Um, this guy was actually uh, the dad of my first clutch this season. Um, and I will be doing an update video on that clutch uh, maybe next week. But uh, hope as long as they come out of shed. But this guy, he's my first proven breeder and I am absolutely in love with him. I love how dark this saddle on his back has become as he's aged. It's that beautiful black outlining. And he's even acquired some Dalmatian spots as he's gotten older, as you can see. He's got a couple, he's got one right there on his back, one on his tail, and he's got a little one under his belly scoots. But he is absolutely beautiful, and I am in love with this boy, and I couldn't be happier with his clutch, and I can't wait to show them to you guys. Anyway, this is Roxas. He's a black pesto pud. So this guy is Jugo. He is my banana black pastel male. And he does not want to be up on this table. Hang on one second. Come back here, bud. There we go. He is absolute, He's an absolutely beautiful version of this gene. If I can get him to hold still for two seconds. He's got all of these crazy high purples and beautiful highlighter yellows. And he's gotten a lot of speckles as he's gotten older. I am in love with what Black Pastel does with banana. It is. I love the alien heads here. He's just. He's just grown into being a stunning adult. And I had paired him last year with Safira, the Super Mojave, but I don't know, either she didn't like him or she just wasn't happy with her follicles that she was growing. Not sure what was going on there, um, but she did not take with him. So, I mean, hey, she might hold back sperm for him for this year. We'll see. Um, but I don't have any breeding plans for him this season, but I'm hoping to pair him in the future and maybe, whoop, and maybe make some... Uh, more babies like him because this is just absolutely stunning. Anyway, this is Jugo, the black pastel banana. All right, guys. So this girl might give me a pop. We'll see. She's my feisty diva of the collection. But this is Larkseen. She lives up to her name, if you guys know the Kingdom Hearts series. But she is a super cinnamon. I got her a few years back from Alex at the Snake Maker. I guess he now works at uh, Miami Reptile Company. But this girl um, is absolutely beautiful. I love the speckling that's been appearing on her back as she's aged. She's got a little bit of a duck bill, classic for the, for the morph, but I mean, other than that, she's perfect. No kinks, nothing. She's a good eater. She's back on food. And we're hoping to breed her next year to our uh, cinnamon champagne male and hopefully make some gray matters. But this is Larkseen, the super cinnamon. All right. So this next girl is Sagira. She is very deep in blue, so I don't want to bother her by taking her out. But this is the mom to my first clutch. She's a black pastel pet pie. And I bought her as a, just a normal black pastel. Her breeder, her previous owner, um, had no idea that she was also had for piebald. Um, she had bred her uh, the first season she had her, um, and it wasn't a combo that would have proved out to be pied. 
So obviously she didn't prove out there. And then the next season she bred her, she bred her to a possible uh, het pied male. And it, she didn't expect anything to come out of that because she's like me. And you know, whenever you get an animal that's listed as het, you don't technically say it is het until you've proved it out, unless you get it from a very trusted breeder. Um, so she didn't expect anything to come out of it, and she had sold this girl to me, and her, the clutch she had had last year was still in the incubator when she, sh uh, when she shipped her out to me, and about a month and a half after I got her, uh, she, the breeder had texted me and said, hey, so I just wanted to let you know that I cut this clutch uh, from the female that I sold you, and there's a piebald in there. She's het pied. Um, so I was completely ecstatic, and it threw my plans to try for panda pieds into fast forward. Um, so with her being breeding size and my male just hitting breeding size this past season, I figured I'd give them a go. Uh, but this girl's absolutely beautiful when she, I mean, she's beautiful now, but even more beautiful when she's not in shed. Um, and I'll have to give you guys a look at her sometime when she's not. Maybe the next video, when I do the update on her clutch, I'll, I'll show her and she'll be out of shed. But anyway, this is Sagira, the Black Pastel Pies. Pet Pied. Black Pastel All right, everyone. So this girl is Khaleesi. This is my Black Pastel Scaleless Head female. I picked her up from Matt Byram about two years ago now and she is just at breeding weight. She just hit 1500 grams and uh, she is my most exciting pairing this season besides coming back to uh, Sagira with hopefully some more panda pieds. But this girl is going back to Roxas the Black Pastel Pied and I'm hoping to make some Super Black Pastels. Uh, that are scaleless head and het for piebald. But this girl is an absolute sweetheart. I love her to death. She was quite the pistol when I first got her, but she's really mellowed out as she's aged. Let me see if I can get an aim on her head here so you can see the scaleless head. But she is absolutely beautiful. She's so iridescent in her blacks, and I can't wait to see if she produces for me this season and if she does what she'll produce. So anyway, this is Khaleesi the black pastel scaleless head. All right, so this next female is Ahsoka. She is my blade 100% double het hypo clown. And she's very in shed right now, which is why I'm not taking her out. You can see she's got very blue eyes. <laughs> uh, but she also has hit weight this season. She's at 1700 grams. And I am very much looking forward to pairing her with uh, Kuruma, the banana clown, and hopefully make some female clowns. Um, I'm very lacking in female clowns. <laughs> so I'm hoping that she, that the odds gods will smile upon me this coming season. She'll go and she'll give me a couple of uh, female clowns that I can hold back. But again, this is Ahsoka, the Blade 100% Double Head Hypo Clown. So this is my one of my newer pickups. This is Urbosa. She is a pinstripe desert ghost. Sorry if I don't have this centered. Um, she is, uh, I picked her up from Chad and Brittany over at Memphis Reptiles back in, I wanna say August is when I got her. She, I picked her up as a 90 gram hatchling and she's already almost to 400 grams. She eats like a pig and she's growing like a weed. She uh, is so beautiful. I'm in love with this snake. She's my first desert ghost combo and I can't wait to start working with this animal. So anyway, this is Urbosa, the pinstripe, woo, pinstripe desert ghost. There she is. All right, guys. This is Parthenax. He is my Lori male. I picked him up from BHB. He is a beautiful example of the gene. I am very excited to start working with this. I have him in his tub because he literally just ate a nice big rat fuzzy last night and I don't want to mess with him too much. 
Um, but he's growing like a weed. He's doing very well. He loves food and he's absolutely beautiful. I love the slate gray browns that he's got going in his alien heads. They're just beautiful. I cannot wait to start working with this gene in the future. So this is Parthenex, the Lori male. So this girl, this is Jubilee. She is my special female. Um, I actually didn't know I was getting her. <laughs> my fiance uh, got her for me for our one year anniversary. Um, I, I have very much been sleeping on the special gene I'm realizing up till this point. She is absolutely beautiful. Uh, she's also, she also just ate yesterday, so I'm not messing with her. Um, she's a spice, she's a very uh, feisty little girl. <laughs> Um, but she's absolutely beautiful. I love the peaches that she's got going on on the sides of her alien heads. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but she is absolutely beautiful. I love the fading on her head stamp. She's going to be such a stunning animal when she grows up. And I'm, I think where I'm going to go with, with this project is special clowns. They are very, very, very stunning morphs. Um, so hopefully we'll take the long game with that, and when she gets old enough to breed, we'll pair her up with uh, Kuruma or the Banana Clown or whatever other clowns we have in the collection at that point, and uh, hope to make some hats, some special hat clowns, and go from there. But this, so anyway, this is Jubilee, the female special. All right, so this guy is the last baby that I'm gonna show today. He's the most recent pickup that I made. This is Dwight, <laughs> the cinnamon champagne. He's also 50% uh, percent hypo. So I'm looking forward to seeing if he proves out with that in the future as well. But the reason I named him Dwight is I don't know if you can see on his head stamp, he looks, if any of you are fans of The Office, he looks like he's got uh, Dwight's middle hair part going on. <laughs> So that's why he's named Dwight, but he's got these beautiful ringers that I'll show you guys sometime when he hasn't just eaten. You can kind of see one there. He's got these beautiful ringers down by his tail, which is classic for champagne cinnamon combos or any champagne combos. But he is going to be paired up with uh, Lark Scene, the Super Cinnamon, in the future. And I'm very, very excited to hopefully make some Grey Matters someday. My fiance is as well. That's his favorite morph. <laughs> So this is Dwight, the cinnamon champagne, 50% hypo. You know what? What the heck? I will give you guys a really, really quick little sneak peek of these new babies, the, the clutch that we hatched out this year. Um, just a very quick sneak peek. They're all in blue. Um, so hopefully next week, by the time I'm ready to make their update video, they'll all have shed. But here they all are. There were six eggs. And we killed it on the odds. All right guys, that was my collection in a nutshell. Um, I'll do some more updated videos and stuff as they come out of shed and all that. But uh, thank you so much for coming and watching. Um, if you don't mind, go ahead and click down in the corner. I don't know which corner, we'll figure it out. I think it's this one. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Comment on the video. Uh, give me suggestions on what else you'd like to see. And next week will be the update video for the babies. So have a good week and we'll see you next time.